Hey there, my name's Neira, and now that you're at least three months postpartum, we can start to build up the intensity in the standing postures and in some of the abdominal work in your postnatal yoga practice. So let's get started on our backs with bridge pose to warm up our glutes, our back, and our hamstrings. You'll need a brick, so have that ready next to you, but we'll warm up a little bit without it at first. So just lower yourself down onto your back and we're just gonna to start to mobilize, bringing the heels closer to the buttocks so that we can graze them with our fingertips, press the arms and hands into the mat, and on your inhale, just tuck the tailbone under and slowly peel away from the mat. Exhale to lower. Inhale, tailbone tucks under, engage the glutes, lifting away. Exhale to lower taking care to not let the knees drop out to the sides. Moving in time with your own breath, we're just warming up, mobilizing the spine at this point and waking up the glutes. And when we've done that for a few breaths, keeping the head still, I'm moving to look at you, but keep looking at the ceiling. We're gonna work a little bit more on strength by adding the brick in between the thighs. So grab your brick, place it in between the thighs, so you'll be squeezing that as you move up and down. And this time, instead of peeling away, we're just gonna lift in one movement. So we're working on the strength rather than the mobility. So here, inhale to prepare, exhale, belly to spine, imprint the lower back onto the mat, and then inhale, push into the floor with the feet and hands, and use the glutes to lift the hips high. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift and you're squeezing the brick the whole time in between the thighs. Let's go for 10, that's three. Go at your own pace. Not too quick, you really wanna feel that engagement in the glutes. Just three more. And this time we're gonna lift and hold. So inhale to lift and hold here. Let's go for five long, deep breaths. and slowly lower down on the exhale. We're gonna do that one more time. Make sure to be squeezing the brick between the thighs and also once you lift up, engage the pelvic floor. I've done a whole separate video working on the pelvic floor, so check that out to find out how to engage it properly. But here we're gonna do that as we lift. So inhale to prepare, exhale imprint the lower back and then inhale, lift, engaging the glutes and this time you're gonna interlace the fingers beneath you, taking hold of both hands and edge the shoulders closer to each other, just giving you a little bit more opening through the chest space and a little bit more lift, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the brick, keep breathing. Lift through the pelvic floor, And exhale to slowly release upper, middle, and then lower back. Great job. Let's move to the standing poses. You're keeping hold of your brick and you're gonna place it between the thighs to come into chair pose. So brick between the thighs. The feet aren't gonna be quite touching because of the brick. And of course, this is a pose that once you've learned to wake up those muscles, you can do without the brick. Feet parallel, inhale, raise the arms, sit the bum back, squeeze the brick between the thighs. And here as well, you wanna be lifting up through the pelvic floor, drawing the belly button towards the spine, gently engaging the glutes as well. Open through the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together, drop the shoulders away from the ears, fingers spread, energy through the fingertips, 
bringing the weight more into the heels. You can even try lifting all 10 toes to make sure the weight is really in the heels. Squeeze that brick, lift through the pelvic floor, draw the belly to the spine, open the chest and release. Great job. Putting the brick to the side, coming in to warrior two. So we're sticking with quite static poses at the moment rather than flowing. We'll come on to flows a little bit later in your postpartum journey. And here you want the right foot pointing to the front of the mat. The left foot, you've got the outer edge parallel with the short end of the mat and check that the heel of the right foot is in line with the arch of the left foot. So check that visually, both legs are straight. Inhale, lift the arms to shoulder height and then exhale, bend through that right leg. You might need the legs wider or narrower, adjust as you want, just make sure that the knee, the right knee is directly above the right ankle so you're not overshooting. And breathe here, take the time to engage the glutes, draw the belly button to the spine again, lift through the pelvic floor. Soft gaze towards the right middle finger, opening through the chest. So you'll notice that my chest and torso are pointing towards the side of the mat, so they're not, so it's not pointing my torso in the direction of my hands. In other words, my torso is pointing towards you, the camera. Breathing here making sure the right knee is tracking towards the right little toe so the knee isn't dropping inwards. Keep breathing, legs strong, glutes strong, belly strong, shoulders soft. And inhale, straighten the leg to come up, other side. So this time the outer edge of the right foot is aligned with the short edge of the mat and you've got the left heel in line with the arch of the right foot. Both legs are straight to start Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, bend through that left knee. Same here, tracking the left knee towards the left little toe. So you're not dropping in with the knee. Knees directly above the ankle. Engage both glutes. Lift through the pelvic floor and draw the belly towards the spine. Shoulders soft, gaze is soft towards the left middle finger. I love this pose because you're working on strength and softness at the same time. Building that confidence back in your body and as always with your postnatal practice, just taking the time to gain awareness of how you feel in poses that might have been very familiar in your practice before and if they're totally unfamiliar, then that's fine too. Just gaining awareness of how you feel in each pose. Inhale, straighten to come up, great. So we're done with the standing poses, toe heel, the feet together, and we come onto the mat, onto all fours. So let's do a little bit more mobilization of the back with some cat cows, hands directly underneath the shoulders, the knees directly underneath the hips. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, push the mat away with the hands, belly to spine and round. Inhale, drawing the chest forward, shoulder blades move together. Exhale, shoulder blades move apart, relax the head round the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, tailbone lifts. Exhale, tailbone drops. few more times in time to your own breath. And then let's come into tiger, get ready for a little bit of core strengthening. So left leg comes back, tuck the toe under, 
reach the right arm forward and from here you're going to inhale to prepare then exhale lift that left leg up I'm flexing my foot because otherwise I'll be touching the wall but you can have it pointed whatever's more comfortable reach the left leg back reach the right hand forward belly lifts up towards the spine engaging the pelvic floor staying steady engaging that left glute as well while dropping the left hip down so that the hips are level and you're not lifting up through um, that left hip. Breathing here, keep leg lifted, reach arm forward, reach leg back. And exhale, release, nice job, other side. So stepping the right foot back, reaching the left arm forward, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift that right leg, belly pulling to spine, Pelvic floor engaged, pushing the mat away with the right hand. Look at the mat to keep length in the back of the neck. That right glute's engaged. Breathing here. Noticing if there's a difference from one side to the other, we're often stronger or more flexible on one side. Not collapsing into that left leg, keeping everything lifted and strong and breathing through the nose. Exhale, release. Great job. So now we're coming into a little bit more of an intense um, ab strength thing. So you're going to knead the brick again and you're going to have it between the thighs. We're going to come into a forearm plank with the brick between the thighs. So coming onto your belly and then coming onto the forearms the elbows directly underneath the shoulders. Squeeze the brick between the thighs. From here, you're gonna gently, on the exhale, lift through the pelvic floor as you squeeze the brick and peel first the lower ribs, then the belly, and then the thighs off the floor. And you're holding here. Let's just hold for five breaths. Squeezing the brick. Lifting the belly up, drawing the belly button towards the spine, lifting through the pelvic floor, pushing the forearms against the floor so you're not collapsing into the shoulders. Look at the mat, keep breathing. And lower. Nice one, that's intense. Let's do it one more time. So again, just line yourself up, making sure that you've got the fingers spread wide on the mat, you've got the elbows uh, directly underneath the shoulders, breathe here, inhale, exhale, lift the pelvic floor, squeeze the brick, peel, lower ribs, belly and thighs off the floor and then hold here, not lifting too high, we want to make sure that we're really feeling that work through the abdominals, squeeze the brick, holding for five breaths, and release great job come up onto the knees take the brick away and from all fours we're going to move simply into a downward dog so spread the fingers wide on the mat tuck the toes under lifting the hips high your feet are hip width apart Press all 10 fingers into the mat to take the weight out of the wrist and then slowly just walk your dog, bending one knee and then the other. The belly stays lifted here as does the pelvic floor. And when you're ready, come into stillness just for a few breaths. Relax the head. And then gently come down onto the knees. Come into child's pose for a few breaths. The toes are touching. The knees are as wide as the mat. And you're going to walk your hands forward on the mat until you can 
place your forehead on the floor and then just stay here and breathe. Slowly walk the hands back towards the knees and we're going to come into Sphinx Pose, which we were in just a moment ago before we came into Plank. So you're coming onto your belly, you're coming onto the forearms, pressing the hands into the floor, the forearms, the feet, uh, the tops of the feet are in contact with the floor, elbows directly underneath the shoulders and all you're going to do here is engage the glutes and then push the forearms into the floor and feel as if you're trying to pull the mat towards you with the palms of the hands. They're not actually moving, but it's just the action to allow you to engage the muscles through the back and open through the chest and heart center looking forward, but keeping the back of the neck long. So this is just to kind of gentle awakening of your back muscles that we'll work on more in the sessions to come and also allowing an opening through the chest to kind of counteract a lot of that rounding that we tend to do when we have a new baby whether we're breastfeeding or not push the pubic bone and the tops of the feet into the floor keep those glutes engaged Push the forearms into the mat. Draw the shoulder blades together. And exhale, release. Great work. Time for final relaxation. Your choice, you can either just lie flat on the mat, you can put a bolster under your knees, to give you a little bit of extra support, or you can come into legs up the wall, which is what I'm gonna show you, and which is really great for calming down the nervous system, um, for helping with swollen legs, um, for helping with anxiety, um, any sort of stress during um, the postnatal period. You just wanna come onto your back, bring your buttocks right up against the wall, and then as the title suggests your legs are up the wall and it's great if you can use a strap or any kind of alternative, place it around the legs and just tighten it on the thighs just above the knees because that will mean you don't have to engage your hip muscles to keep your legs up against the wall and straight. So I think I need to just, there we go, bring myself a bit closer. And then all you need to do here is close your eyes, sink into the mat and relax. Noticing how you feel physically, mentally, emotionally without any judgment. Staying in this pose for as long as you need to. It's a great pose to do at the end of every day, even for 15 minutes.
whenever you're ready. Either stay here for as long as you like or slowly start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Start to take the strap away from the legs or if you're just lying flat on the floor, that's fine as well. Give yourself a good little stretch. Roll onto one side and come back into a seated position on the mat. Legs crossed, growing tall through the crown of the head, grounding the sit bones into the mat, rolling the shoulders up and back. You can keep the eyes closed. Bringing the hands together at heart centre, taking a big inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth. And then together we inhale to Om. Om. Bringing the hands to the third eye. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and I'll see you in the next video.